Hello and welcome everybody, I am Socio Psycho, and today we're actually going to do our very first vlog. There's a lot of information which I need to relay to you, pertaining to personal and growth of the channel, and the gameplay footage will be of Orcs Must Die 2, and there'll be a link to where you can get that, mainly in Steam, in the description below. What I want to talk about is the fact that this channel is a game review channel, which means that for how the videos are progressed, majority of games I do one video on, and then after that video is done, I don't even bother playing the game anymore because it's not that interesting to me, or I'm just not captivated enough beyond it doing a review. The main key difference between this channel and something such as a Let's Play is the fact that a Let's Player can make you know, up to 15, 20 videos and potentially even a lot more on one game alone. Where a reviewing channel is usually getting about one video per game. Now there are reasons why this may not be true as more content may be needed for some reviews or a follow-up review or some variations, but for the most part, majority-wise, one game, one video on a review channel. And what that comes down to is basically the time spent equal to the time allotment and how much videos are actually be able to get out onto a channel. And because I'm only getting really one video out of every game, and in fact I can't be spending $60, $40, and even $30 on every review, that piles up and it gets just insane. I don't have that sort of funding or money value to be able to do something like that or justify something like that as I'm not seeing any income come back from making my videos at this point because it's more of a hobby where I'm growing my channel. So I have to be smart about what I spend and what I do. The one thing that does hurt channels is not having enough content to produce to keep your viewer base actually entertained. And that's definitely not something I want to suffer from. I don't want people who are part of this channel to ever feel like there's not enough content or the content that's coming out is way too slow. But at the same time, there's only so much that one can do with one's uh, work schedule and personal life being you know, in a way. With the channel being as small as it currently is, at s around 70 subscribers, it means unlike the bigger channels which have thousands of subscribers, making a review channel as something that is priority one in the fact that you can do it as a living is not yet a accessible goal. People who have a lot of subscribers can afford that to put that time and make it sort of their job, if you look at the bigger reviewers, you know, maybe Total Biscuit or some others that you may enjoy watching and know of, that have that capability of doing that. We are far from that on this channel, and because of that, it doesn't mean that the quality of professionalism of the videos that I offer to you will be any less, and will always continue to try to grow in that department, but it means that the content and the amount of content will not be as high in how many come out in comparison. At the end of the day, while I do love bringing you reviews and I like helping and saving you money, I mean that's really the main reason and purpose of me doing reviews. It's something I enjoy doing mainly because it could either educate you about a game, maybe inspire you to think differently about a game, or just save you money, which is really the, the big one, that makes me happy if I can save you money or even show you a game you weren't even expected to even look at. And you're like, oh wow, I didn't even know this game existed and it's pretty good. And I want to continue that in how I bring you reviews. And I know I already have a few loyal fan base, and I really appreciate your viewership as well. And it just comes down to patience overall. Because in between work and real life, like I said, it's not feasible right now for me to be able to dump all my time and effort into doing reviews non-stop. Making it an 8 hour a day thing. Because when it comes down to making the actual video, the time amount that it can take is anywhere in between 2 to 12 hours in video editing alone. Now when you buy a game and you have to play that game for you know, in between maybe 2 hours to 20 hours, 40 hours, depending on how enjoyable the game is, how far you get, what needs to be shown. I mean there's so many variations, but let's safely say 6 hours before you have a grasp of all the mechanics of a story. 6 hours into a game, and then 2 to 12 hours depending on the size of the game and how much needs to be shown 
in order to edit the footage and bring you an understanding of what I'm talking about and what you can see. And that's the difference between my channel and some other channels is the fact that even if I only play a game for two hours and it's still going to be a review of a game because if a game, if people are saying, well, the game really picks up in four hours and I stop playing at two. Well, what's the point of playing for an extra two hours because the game at two hours in is dreadfully boring or highly annoying than to expect somebody to play for another two hours before a game even gets good is just ludicrous. It's unrealistic. So my reviews show you exactly what's in the game and what you can expect. And that's the difference between something like my channel and first impressions channels and something else. I want to show you and describe to you exactly what is going on to the game and where you can feel the enjoyment because nobody should have to bear through X amount of hours before you actually get to a good part of the game. It's just stupid. Uh, statistics actually show that game developers have five minutes from the start of the time when the game loads up, when you click the icon on your desktop, you have five minutes to engage the player, otherwise you're going to lose them. Now, that may not be true for everybody, but statistics are broad based, not individual based. And as my personal self, I can definitely see that because if the first five minutes is nothing but logos and intros and boring, I find myself asking and thinking, all right, I'm, I'm ready to kill. Let me get started here. I just let me kill something already or let me get into the story. Let me start the game. Let me actually start playing games that don't throw you right into it soon enough and try to drag their feet or show yourself as irrelevant really do suffer. But back to the point of the matter, the fact that I want to bring you such high quality reviews and doing that takes time. The fact that I can't be doing this for a living currently just requires me to ask for your patience in this fact. It also comes down to money because unlike Let's Players where like I said they can make multiple videos on one game, I'm limited to mainly one video per game as a reviewer. And that means that due to the channel size, I'm not getting too many games. Not too many developers are willing to work with me and allow me to get a copy of a game for free. Now there are some indies and low budget games that are willing to, but the reason why my channel has a lot of smaller priced games on it is because if I can spend 60 bucks and get 14 games, then that's what I'm going to do. And I'll probably get more viewership because you never know really how much a video is going to get in viewership versus buying one AAA title but not really having the subscription viewer base to even justify the amount putting out $60 on one game to do one review and only getting 200 views on it or maybe at best 600 isn't really good return and so bringing more games of more content that you may or may not be interested depending on what style it is either increases not only how much content I can bring you but also increases the chance that you'll actually find something that you might not have thought of or known about before. So that's really the, the main thing that I wanted to talk about there. Now I'll be moving on July 1st, two states over, as I am in the United States. After I move, the channel may be barren for about a week because I have to you know, unpack and everything else, set up everything. But I should be able to have a little bit more time to dedicate to the channel. Now hopefully this means that I can get out at least three videos a week to you and have this sort of, you can expect how many videos to get a week. I mean that's what I would like to have but with current schedule and everything else it's been really difficult but I wanted those to let you know that if you don't see any new content out after the first for about a week or so that not to worry it's just things are getting set up now also when I have more time next month it's not a huge deal to me because I'm actually not that social of a person I don't actually enjoy interacting with that many people and it's kind of ironic that I'd be doing a channel where I'm Basically, that's majority of what you need to do is interact with other people. But I do it to help people more than I do because I'm a social butterfly or anything like that. Because I'm really not. <laughs> and next month, 
with that extra amount of time, I'll be able to get up a Twitter and Facebook account for the channel. It'll definitely help you in being able to see when a video is more uploaded because I know YouTube is a little touchy with that. It doesn't really properly give updates a lot. So you'll be, I'll be able to sort of cross platform in the social media category and you'll be able to see better when a video is uploaded because it'll be stated on Twitter or Facebook for the channel. As always, I really do appreciate your viewership and your feedback. You know, that's a really important thing. Our views may differ quite often. You, I may do a video and you may like it, you may not like it. But what's important is that I get that feedback. What did you like about the video? Did you just not like the game? Was it boring? Did I not edit something properly? What are your thoughts about different things? You know, and, and it matters to me because the experience that I bring you, I'm not an entertainer. I wanna make sure my message is being represented properly. And to do that, I may need some feedback on your thoughts about anything. So never feel like you can't talk or you shouldn't comment. I welcome it. I welcome any difference of opinion or, you know, even same. Your support in this fact of this channel growing is huge. Like I said, I know there are a few people which already are a core members of the channel, you know, people I can definitely rely upon watching my videos. And then you got some others which, you know, it's like, okay, cool, you're interested in this, I'm, you know, you're not interested in that, that's fine. But when it comes to the core audience, which is really nice to know, don't feel like this is a one-way street, because it's not. You know, for the channel to get better, for me as an individual and speaking and editing, it you know, I need this feedback, uh, whether it be good or bad. So I just want you to know that this is actually a community and I want it to, I want to try to make it feel like a community. And I'm still trying to figure out how to do that because the majority of my life, I've been in the shadows. I've been the person who doesn't take the spotlight. I've never gone with a flow, but I've always made my own path. Everybody else goes one way and I go the other way. And it's just been more comfortable for me. I'm going to bring my personality to the channel. I'm never going to make it feel like I'm an entertainer because I'm not an entertainer. I'm gonna tell you exactly how I feel about every game or any subject that I feel is important to bring to your attention. And the most important thing is I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything and I'm not gonna water anything down. It's very important to me that we treat people with the maturity and respect that they can handle. If you're 12 years old or you're 48 years old, I'm going to treat you like an adult. If you say something stupid, I'm going to tell you you said something stupid. I'm never going to dismiss what somebody thinks or feels because of their age. And that's what you can always expect in this channel, is the fact that you will be treated with respect that you deserve. And what you deserve really depends on how you act. Respect and maturity are welcome here. And that's pretty much just me. I'm always blunt, I'm always straightforward. I never try to pretend to be something I'm not. And my personality of a strong character and somebody who doesn't like beating around the bush and I'm just straight to a point is something you can always expect from me. I'm never going to lead you astray or bullshit and lie to you because I'd be lying to myself and I don't do that. A lot of stuff has been going into this video. Me personally as a content creator, what I want to achieve for the channel. I mean, yeah, of course, bigger subscribers, more videos, better formats, you know, overall just an increase in life. I mean, that's really my goal overall is to better myself mentally and physically in life. And this is just one more aspect of that. One more capability of improving upon how I interact with people and how I can spread a message of expect more from life, not just games. You know, always try to better yourself and learn more because that's important. And when we stop expecting things from our surroundings, that's when we stop getting the value we even have now. As always, I really do appreciate your viewership, and I even thank you for your time in listening to this and watching this. Even if it only gets four views, I mean, whatever. This is out there, and those who do watch it, those who find it interesting, you know, thank you. And I really do look forward to the future where I have more time to make videos and I can make sort of gaming reviews it could actually be a job for me instead of just a hobby. But it's not something I'm going to abandon. And that's what's important. I'm not going to just abandon the channel. I'm not going to abandon you. I'm going to be here. And whether my amount of content I put out slows down or increases, it's always going to be there. Unless, you know, obviously I die or some shit. Otherwise, thank you again. And I'll see you next time.
fight begins. Sappers on the way! Begin the lesson. Run out of the door. 